You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Beavis and Butthead. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Beavis and Butthead news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Beavis and Butthead. What up, After Buzzers? Beavis and Butthead. Ugh. 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 Uh, <laughs> what up, everybody? Uh, so, uh, After Buzz TV for Beavis and Butthead. Uh, today's episodes were Rat and... James, can you help me out? Spill. And Spill. Uh, with me tonight is, of course, Miss uh, Vanessa Lopez. Hey. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey. And uh, and uh, Mr. James Ross, what's up? Uh, not much, man. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, hilarious episodes. Uh, by the way, we're back from Thanksgiving, so oh, I'm still full. Me too. Still full. Yeah. Still tired. I, did, I, I finished off my left my leftovers last night. Really? Is yeah. they still good a week later? They yeah. were. They were. Oh. You, you just gotta make it's. You know, it's how it's how you keep them. Yeah, it's it's keep them fresh in the uh, Tupperware, mm. you know. Glad I love Tupperware. Glad locked or whatever, <laughs> and uh, fresh as uh, the day it was cooked. Yeah, I, I yeah. I have lunch every day, lunch every day with my leftovers. Mm. It's great. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Beavis and Butthead, uh, another fun episode, I'd say. Super funny. Yeah, yeah. I liked it a lot. It start you know started out with the, <laughs> with them finding a rat in their house. And right. uh, they don't know how to how to <laughs> kill it, I guess. And, yeah, and again, like I love how like that's not even a situation. That's just one little thing that they focused on: the fact that they have a rat, and then that's all that little episode was about. I love that every little thing stemmed from that. Uh, and then we're watching them kind of have a new pet now, which I thought was yeah. really really funny to have. Well, yeah, it starts with them. Uh, there's a nice little montage of them trying to figure out how they're going to get rid of it and go to the <laughs> hardware store and get a bunch of traps. You know, but that so guy was weird, right? Creepy. Like, like the so guy who creepy. was helping him with uh, with the mousetrap. That guy freaked me out. I was like, <laughs> I was like, like, who the hell's this guy? He's like, kind of like yeah. overly, overly, like helpful, and then. Yeah, his last line. Do you guys need matches or pliers? <laughs> exactly. Gross. <laughs> pliers, obviously, to pull the rat apart, right? Is that or is that just me being yeah, gross? He, he seemed like he loved. That's what I was thinking. Like, he, yeah, I think off. he he was like figured they were probably into like rat torture as opposed to exactly. like we actually have a rat problem and we exactly. want to get rid of our rat. They're like, you guys are into like, right, right. Exactly. I mean, masochism. It's not <laughs> like, like, like just... I've ever pulled a rat apart with a pair of pliers. That's gross. Yeah, no. Never. I mean, Frogs, on the other hand, who cares? Right, exactly. Oh, Play tied, baseball with those things. I've tied lizards to bottle rockets. That was terrible. You did? Yeah, I was like nine, and my cousin was older, and he was crazier than me. Dude, what else is there to do growing up in Arizona? In, yeah, in Arizona, that's true. we You're had right. we had fireworks and we yeah. had lizards, so we combined. And you weren't the two. introduced to drugs yet. So no, but like... I'm sure meth was around. Oh, just yeah. no one had showed it to me yet. Exactly. Uh, I remember uh, when I had a little. Uh, I guess like we, I had a frog as like a pet, not. I had dogs too, but like I, I had a frog, and my aunt came over, and she's like a neat freak, clean, and like when she saw that there was a frog in the house, like and and even though it was in his like little aquarium, thing, Ay, Dios mio. yeah, she like freaked out and put it outside in the sun, and <laughs> when I got to it, it was just petrified against the glass, and just like like I tapped it and it just crumbled, and I was like, oh my god. It dried up. My frog dried up because oh, of my. God, life. that's awful. Yeah, and it, like it, like, no water. Like she just put him out there and and murdered my frog. That's cold, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what a way good. to go. Seriously, it's a killer. Like it dried up against. Like it was trying <laughs> to escape. It was like against the thing, and it just like froze. It's like a 
Han, no. Han Solo trying yeah. to escape the <laughs> carbonite. The carbonite. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God damn. Gross. Yeah, but that guy, that guy seemed like, it was like, oh, oh sweet. Total. Anyone who, anyone who comes in and buys like rat poison and, and likes to kill rats, like it's some, it's a sick game. It's a sick, fun thing. Have you guys ever had me. like a, a pest problems? I, the first house I moved <laughs> into when I moved to Los Angeles, <clears throat> uh, it literally, so there's, it had the one of those old timey wall heaters that like are like, five feet tall and stick out like three inches mm-hmm. and uh there was no bottom part in it i guess it just like went that's where the heat came through from the bottom part but one of the first nights i was sleeping there i heard like the and i was like oh hell no i woke up and i was like oh my god i was like it's a mouse i'm freaking out i flicked on the light it's a fucking it's a rat <laughs> and okay. it looks at me like i'm bothering it you is are. It, like I flicked on the light and it's like what? Yeah. <laughs> and I It's late. I, Turn the lights off. <laughs> I like took whatever was on my nightstand and I threw it at it and it ran back into the heater. And um so later we oh, got it like Jesus. we the next morning we boarded up the heater. I, I had that you should have turned on the heater. I had a very I trust similar... me, I blasted that thing for days hoping I would cook that little Oh yeah, because that smells delicious. Right? Yeah, my roommates were like, No, if you kill it in the walls, it'll just die and smell in your room and I was like just get it out. <laughs> yeah, I had the same problem in my my last apartment building, except luckily they were only tiny, tiny little mice. But those are the worst though because they're they're hard to 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 see or catch happening. Like I'm just, yeah. I'd just be sitting there and it, you know watching TV and it's late and I have all the lights down or whatever, and then I'll just out of the corner of my eye see what I think is a tiny that's the tiniest little mm-hmm. thing out of the peripheral vision uh, up against the wall running and I feel like I saw that a couple times it makes and you I thought paranoid. maybe I was crazy like I never yeah like I I thought oh maybe I'm just right. seeing things but then one yeah. time I I actually caught it and was like oh god I got to be on the lookout for those things yeah. now you know but like Beavis and Butthead made that rat its pet and that totally reminded me like cause my parents would make weird animals like their pets around like when, when like we had our house like me, like they. I, I you came, were a pet at first. I'm sure I was. <laughs> I was like weird looking, and they kept me. I'm sure. To, I'm sure to new parents, you know. Yeah. That's why they, they <laughs> people they always start out like get a dog first. Right. And then if you could take care of a dog, exactly. then you might have the chance to have a baby. Yeah. But if they've my, never my, been my around dad, babies, they might treat the baby just like they did yeah, the dog. Yeah, that's what my dad did. He treated me like a little puppy. Like would walk me and. and it gets even worse now because they've got leashes for kids. So. Exactly. Well, yeah, I had one of those. Literally take. I had one of those. My mom hated me because I would like. Run. My mom hated me. <laughs> There's no more to the rest of the story. <laughs> yeah, my, mom, my mom hated me. So the next <laughs> video. That, <laughs> uh, no, like my mom like never kills daddy long legs. Like she's always mm. like, hey, Charlotte or hey, like names them. Because they're like, oh, they get all the mosquitoes and they get all the flies. And my dad was like feeding this like possum that was on the side of the house. It was like, this is really funny dog on the other side of the <laughs> the wall and i was like what he's like yeah i give it bread every morning and then i look back to some possum just like made its home in the side of our yeah my grandma used to feed raccoons <laughs> really would come like... to her back porch and she would just put it food out for him and like i think they were eating like they might have been eating cat food i hope she like, was she like just... this is for the coons <laughs> <laughs> if she would have it you know they're from a different generation so it's possible <laughs> yeah <assume>. uh <laughs> speaking of that like i, I remember uh in a in an improv show, I, I uh, was speaking about ghosts, but I was like, "Watch out for them spooks!" And people went like crazy, dead, like, dead silence, crazy, dead silence, <laughs> crazy. dead silence, crazy. And one and like the other people who were perform like who were performing with, they were like, "Dude." Like, <laughs> anyway, and then like kind of like if I went blue, but I was like, "Yeah, spooks." I mean, you know. Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. Cool. My mom hates me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. Ghosts have to re have to take that word back. I think ghosts have really? to get on reclaiming that word. Right. They're too, busy. It They're too busy. being ghosts. Take it. Yeah, that's true. They're and too busy like haunting Vanessa people. Get in trouble. Uh, it's you know. So what the what was the first video on the show tonight? We got Olands White Knights. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with the with the band. But uh, crazy the, artsy video. But it was a really funny uh, commentary that they had on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, that it looked like, <laughs> like it said that the, the 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 girl singing looked like some like art chick that you could bang just no. if you tell her ideas. Yeah. Are, the best line really is good. that's why hot girls shouldn't keep dream journals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was. A, I mean, for those of you who saw this, I mean, like obviously it's just freaky video 
with artsy things that people I hate it when people try to pass like really really weird things as artsy. I was like, no, this is a choice. <laughs> the box is kind of like a zebra, and I blend in wearing zebra pants. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about like. For some reason, I love the television show Twin Peaks, but everything else David Lynch has ever done, I just can't. I just it's sometimes just it's just too weird it's, for the sake of being weird for me. Like and like my friend Simon, who's an artist, like he he were around. Like whenever we go to galleries or whenever he does another show, like with other artists, some of the things that people try to pass off mm. and like it's get arty. get paid to do, like it's like come right. on, man, it's so you just don't understand it, okay? Yeah. I don't. I, this I don't is understand. Artistic. I don't understand how you're getting paid for this shit. What like, don't you get? It's a ball of cement. Cement? Cement. It's semen mixed with cement. It's cement. Hardened cement. and, yeah. C- cement. It's it's the artist's choice, Gian. Okay? Yeah, it's but artist, is that it's, true? It's the artist's choice not to have a job and then fucking like <laughs> pass off, like... I don't know. It's 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 a facade that we all kind of keep in the air. Like, let's keep this in the air. And yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm almost supportive of arts and some, artists. Some, but like, some people are just there's a there's a lot of I mean, it, there's just abusing that. There's a lot of artists though that are out there that are amazing, amazing painters, amazing. No, like, there's no designers. good painters ever. <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> they're all passing off. No, like, they haven't happened yet. No, they, well, they they there's a lot of good ones, and amongst those, there's people that pass off, and that this with this video. It's a music video, an artsy music video that we were forced to watch. Yeah. Do you th- yeah. do you think that uh, art school chicks will sleep with you if you tell of them their ideas are good? Oh yeah. Yeah, they not, do. and especially if you like as they also said like Do you think that that just goes for any girl? Yeah, I was just going to say if you're just nice to a girl and be like, you know, if you're just supportive, then you're right. ha- that's half the battle. Right. That's what and Butthead brought that up is like do you think that like the director of the video yeah, like <laughs> got late because he was like, "Yeah, this is great. Like, tell me more ideas." Yeah, I just put money behind it, <laughs> <laughs> and then the girl will keep asking for more things. Do you, do you take advantage of that? You take advantage of, of being a girl. Being a girl. Yeah, all the time. I take full advantage I mean, of it. I think that's I mean, how I got on the show. You're going this show. You're going to a premiere next week. Yeah, I'm it. going to a pre. Yeah, because I'm just a cutie patootie. That's it. No other reason. I no, need something. No, I need something in a dress next to me. No, there's no substance inside of me. Oh, good. Just pure evil. Right. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The V in Vanessa is for villain. But with that candy-coated exterior. Mm, I'm like a chocolate-covered girl. <laughs> I wish. You, I wish you were a chocolate-covered girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, after the video, we come back and they're trying to kill this rat, and it just right. won't die. No. Uh, it actually well, gets its, its a, head caught uh, in a trap. Well, before that, they they have trouble just working with the trap. Yes, they well, because they're Beavis and Butthead, they're right. idiots and montage. And I love that we can kill time with that. We can yeah. we can watch them. Yeah, they beat, every... they get beat the hell up by those traps, like black <laughs> exactly. eyes and cuts and scrapes all over the place. And like like Beavis's ass got cut. In the trap, see that? Well, I mean, come on. If you were Beavis and Butthead, you wouldn't test the trap with your ass first. I'd probably test it to with make sure my it balls. works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I mean, how did they not go for that joke? How do you not snare your rat trap? Oh, Vanessa was snatch some, trap. Vanessa with some criticism. It's an easy <laughs> joke. You've got a million other easy jokes you're That's making. That's right. Come on, Beavis and Butthead. Come Put on. your dick in that rat trap come and make on. us laugh. Yeah. All right. No I joke. didn't say dick. The, I said balls. I thought. All right. Sorry. Well, Vanessa. I figured you just catch. Come on, ca- James. Come I figured on. you just catch the whole package in there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, God, James. I'm sorry. Balls James are going funnier blue. than James is going blue. <laughs> balls are funnier than happening. penises. Yes, it's always, true. always, when, always. And then in their attempt to kill this rat, then it becomes Beavis's pet, the fitting pet for Beavis and Butthead. Well, you see him freak as rat. soon as he sees it snared, like caught in the trap. He's like, Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Well, because it's still alive. Yeah. It's it's literally, its head yeah, is caught it's in the caught trap, in the and trap. it's just running around with a trap on its head, which is... Oh, God. In Puerto Rico, my grandmother put out, like, the... St- instead, before, like, they had the... Not before. I'm sure they have many types of rat control, like, rat traps. And so they had the one with the glue. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are the worst. And so, like, you oh, just see, God. like, it's it pulled its... Like, its foot got stuck. And I guess it was pulling so hard that it pulled its leg, like it broke clean its foot. Off. Yeah, clean off. And ah. and then the rest of its body got cut. So then, like, it's kind of mangled a little bit because it's trying to get away, and it's still like running. And and it's 
it's fighting for dear life and it just dies on the glue. I know, yeah, I caught so I caught one of those so little mice, one of those little mice in my old apartment. Like I was saying, I caught it in 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 the glue trap. Like I caught it's just it's tail. Like mm. I caught I cornered it and like it was like right around it, but it was too light to. <laughs> if you I'm I'm acting this out right now. You can't see it on the, on the podcast, but if you're watching this live, I'm acting it out. So I cornered I cornered it and the, the glue trap was there, but it was it's a tiny little thing, so it's too light to like stick onto the glue. So somehow I was able to catch its tail in like two of the glue traps, and I was gonna figure out how to take it outside and, and get it away from that. But then it like flopped around and got its whole body stuck and I was like great you just killed yourself great okay now I have to now I have now you're dead I wish, and it's your fault I wish the rag would be like fuck you you put this here yeah. I didn't kill myself you put this glue here well yeah. you were in my apartment and I protective of my this was my breakfast land. cereals yeah, exactly this apartment was a town hey home. you're not paying <laughs> rent here buddy Either you're you. not paying <laughs> like if your mom did this to me then well alright then Look, if you can actually start talking to me like I'm gonna die. I'm like gonna Stuart die. Little or Rizzo from the Muppets, then we could be no, friends. No, because that would be absolutely worse if it was stuck on the paper and it was like, help me! Oh help no! Me, <laughs> That's please! True. Keep it alive! I have a family! Uh, I don't care about that. I just care that you talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. gonna make money off <laughs> you! <laughs> I found a talking You mouse. know what? Tell I, your family goodbye. Let's go. I wish like we could have like a rat that like hosts an after buzz show. <laughs> like, what show would you want to see? <laughs> I don't know. American Horror Story. Yeah, probably. Because it's about a house, an old house. And mice love them. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Billy the Exterminator. I feel like that's who you guys need to get as a special guest. The as, rat from uh, Muppets. Uh, ooh. Rizzo? That would be amazing. I might be able to swing Stuart Little. Yeah. I don't know if I can do the rat. Eh, he's old school. He's like Ted Danson. Well, Stuart Little's him. not little anymore. He's like 40. <laughs> right. Well, in rat years, mice years. Yes, yes. So he's dead? <laughs> Barely. So he's, his tail's stuck on a trap somewhere. Oh, gross. So Beavis, so Beavis takes the uh, takes the rat to work. Yeah, <laughs> they take the to the rat to it's the. It's cool that it follows him. It follows him everywhere. So yeah, well, now that he's gonna feed it French fries because it loves him so much, uh, they take it to work, and they don't care that no, there's a rat running around. In fact, he puts them in the food. It's like, all right, here, go, run, yeah, run around. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the ladies come coming in to order her food, and they just they basically like put the rat on her tray of food she just ordered, <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, this is a this is a health code violation. But it's just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, yeah. Well, you know, that's. And then they finally find out that it was actually a lady rat. Yeah. Baby, yeah, baby rats. Rat babies. So pinkies don't even have tails. They're, I don't know who told Mike Judge that. That, yeah. that they, baby rats have tails? They, they're gross and they don't even move. They're just like there. Have you never seen them at the don't, pet store? Don't some rat moms eat some of their young? Yep. A lot of animals eat their young. Well, you know, they... I was originally twins. <laughs> Did... My mom <laughs> ate the other one is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, I thought you ate the other one. No, possibly no, no, in no the we were womb. talking about... Oh God! I wish it would have cleared a lot of space in there. So cluttered. Uh, so the next video on the show was uh, the band <laughs> Battles. Battles, yeah. Featuring good. Gary Newman, My Machines. Yeah. I, Vanessa said this when we were watching it. I didn't really hear the song either. No, <laughs> we couldn't hear it. Yeah. I was just listening because they were talking over it constantly, which is fine. And it didn't look like it was that interesting of a video. It was just a dude uh, ba- falling down on an escalator like mellow. the entire time. Music, Battles is a good is a good band. It just you know I guess for that the whole point was the the guy falling and and not perpetually, yeah, perpetually on an escalator. escalator. Yeah. But I was I was I was disappointed that it was kind of a lame and uh, idea for a video. But also, I know some great physical comedians who would have been real good in that video. Shout out to Josh Freedom and Nathan Barnett. Nathan Barnett. <laughs> they would have been much yeah, funnier exactly. oh, yeah, falling Nathan. down an escalator right. continuously and it was for two, half an so hour. So they could have had both of them. Just yeah. like, oh, wow, one computing. going up and A one guy going falling down. up an escalator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, falling up an escalator. Yeah, Josh Freedom's one of his jokes is literally guy who can't not That's fall. That's true. Like, he did a show, 30 <laughs> Minutes of Falling Down. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, but yeah, that was an uh, okay video, I guess. It had Gary Newman. Yeah. yeah. Which... Uh, haven't seen him around in a long time. Nope. In Cars. Mm-hmm. That that was his big yep. hit in the 80s, if you guys the, uh one of, one of my original drum teachers was the guy who filled in for the Cars. He was a drummer for the Cars. Um, my mom hates me. <laughs> Good. 
Cool. So do most of our After Buzz listeners. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, uh, guys. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> Actually, most people hit the cars, so that's unfortunate. What? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm reading the the forum right now. No, they're the still min, they're the minute still... you mentioned cars, they're people st- started like <laughs> like just sending like hate mail. They are still ruling the uh, casino, <laughs> the circuit? casino circuit. Yeah, Dude, they do I'd very be, well. I'd be so happy if I got to do the casino circuit. Right now? Right now? Yeah. Let's go to Harris. Yeah, let's just do After Buzz on the casino <laughs> yeah. circuit. Okay, we're going to do we'll this around to different ca- casinos and talk yeah. about Beavis and Butthead. I think, we'd get a, I think we'd get people to come out and watch. I'd yeah. be too busy gambling, but I'm there in spirit. They'd probably we'll figure out a way a that we could yeah. gamble on stage yeah, while we're doing it. We'd just be it. playing Kino. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, let's do that. We should. Yeah, we should do more of that. More... Of us just out of the studio. That's where our fans want to see us. Out out in the world. Take the show on the road. Yeah. Just like can. Beavis and Butthead did in their movie. Hmm. Uh, so, you know, coming back full circle. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, so the second uh, half of the episode, Spill, mm-hmm. about a oil spill. The very BP, The BP almost, oil spill. Almost topical. Yeah. yeah. Was it the BP oil spill? It had to be. The, it's the Gulf of Mexico. That's what I guess. Was. I guess. Yeah. They are in uh, Texas, so. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, their hippie teacher tells him about the oil spill and and makes a poor choice of words by saying that uh, baby chicks, chicks are getting filthy. Yeah, dirty uh, filthy chicks. Dirty are, filthy chicks. Would you want to come help rub and of rub course, up on yeah. dirty yeah. filthy chicks? <laughs> Duh. Would Beavis and Butthead not want to rub up on yeah, you know, they, filthy chicks? Of they course volunteer, they volunteer. Which I mean, as a school district, who knows Beavis and Butthead? Would you let them? I wouldn't fund those two to go anywhere. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. <laughs> As a, you know, but they are the ones who get to go. And and they never once uh, ever, like, realize that the reason they're there is to help. Well, because birds. it doesn't help that as soon as they get there, they're, the main person in charge of the cleanup is this hot hippie chick with tattoos named and Maya. And breasts. Oops. And very large, cartoon, <laughs> cartoonishly large breasts. Yeah, I know it's a cartoon already. When they're that big, they're called bazoongas. Bazoongas. Yeah. She's got some bazoongas, some, and good. she's that... instructing him on how to clean a uh, goose. oiled up Dumb. bird. <laughs> oiled up goose. Goose I think seagull. It was a pelican. Yeah. Pelican. Okay. Uh, and she instructs them to, to start, you know, by rubbing and stroking, <laughs> and 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 start with the breast area because right. that is the most sensitive area. Exactly. So and and I love that they were like yes and about to grab her and then like yeah. no wait hold on <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know it's just a a comedy of errors as <laughs> everything that she says is a double entendre and they're obviously gonna st- still think that they can get some from this from this hot yeah, most chick. of the, mo- the things whenever they're active it's because they want to score yes so that's great that's. All Beavis and Butthead have ever wanted to do that and, and nachos. That yeah, na- I, I'm. I'm. I, I love I, both I, of those things too. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I love nachos. And scoring is awesome. That's yeah, it really. really and then is. when you can combine the two somehow. Oh God, could you imagine eating nachos while scoring? scoring? Hmm. I had. I I have been imagining. God. You've had that dream during no during this podcast. Oh, okay. Right now, I've been imagining. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so like the then the the cutaway was of course. Uh, Jersey Shore. Well, before mm. that, it was a show that I've never even oh, heard cuffed. of before. Cuffed. cuffed. Called Cuffed, which is, I guess it's like MTV's Cops. <laughs> and it's like MTV's Cops meets like Taxi Cab Confessions, because like they were like talking to each other. Yeah, so they bust some underage kids for drinking or whatever, and then they take DUI. them back in the yeah. squad yeah, car. Yeah, so chill about yeah. it, too. Like, My dad's going to be so mad. No, your dad's going to kill you. It's like $2,000. Obviously, he wasn't that mad, though, because he allowed his face to be seen on television. <laughs> yeah. He signed yeah, the waiver <laughs> before he that, got that in. said, uh, yes, put my face on TV. Is that part of the Miranda rights now? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you can and say will be seen on television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so funny like to, you know, to get a DUI and be like, uh, do you mind being on TV? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it'll help. does it help? Well, it they help? didn't seem very drunk either though. 
They yeah. seemed a little goofy, but they would just look like a couple of dumbass teenagers. So, mm. but they didn't seem like Ew, like out of it drunk. Oh, yeah, well, they're drunk enough. They're in the fucking back of a cop car. Drunk yeah. enough. Drunk enough. That's that my be, motto. Drunk that'd enough. Be a, that'd be a great show. Drunk enough. <laughs> Drunk enough. <laughs> is that a is is that a new reality competition show? Yeah. Like tough yeah. enough? But yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, exactly. But it's, it's like, like one. Drink. It's like yeah. one girl, and there's like five regular looking dudes and like one ugly dude, and she's like, mm, I'm drunk enough. <laughs> and then the we'll guy's see. like, Yeah, I get the score. Yeah. And then they win a vacation package. <laughs> Meh, I'm yeah. drunk enough. Yeah, I don't know, do you? I think it's called Meh. Meh, drunk enough. Drunk enough. Uh, I, but I yeah I'd never I'd never heard of cuffed me neither it looks coofed. stupid but but Beavis and Butthead are very inspired by it they're like yes yeah. finally MTV they, puts something on air that's inspirational yes they, that this they will wanna... hopefully actually teach children a lesson to not drink and drive it's probably the opposite it, like how Teen Mom how girls watch that and like ooh I could be on TV People exactly are like, they're like what? oh dude let's get drunk and drive my dad's car and we'll get on TV we'll get on cuffed everyone will see us at four p.m. on MTV I think. I, I thought this earlier. I think Cuff should be a show about girls that <laughs> nail two dudes at the same time. Get cuffed. Getting cuffed. That's on a different network. Though. MTV yeah. wouldn't show it's that. Well, the they o- probably would yeah. show that. But. So it's on the Oxygen Network. <laughs> Next on Oxygen, getting cuffed. cuffed. <laughs> two chicks, a dude, handcuffs. Uh, and so, yeah, then Schnooky. Uh, Schnooky. It's actually just Snooky. Snooky. Snooky, Snooky wants smush smush. <laughs> Anybody watch South Park? <laughs> That's their impression of Snooky. Never heard of it. Snooky wants smush smush. Though when they make fun of Jersey Shore and Beavis and Butthead, it's absolutely my favorite. It's great. It's the best. Because that show was made to be made fun of. Yeah, and Beavis and Butthead are the are oh, just couldn't oh. have picked a better. Yeah, yeah it happens. It's, so it's the episode where Snooky gets arrested. For as <laughs> as Jay Wow uh, explained it, being drunk and an, an idiot, idiot, which she's like I mean, falling down in the sand. In she that gets episode. like yeah, but if that was the case, she would be arrested every single episode. Seriously, all of them would be all the time, constantly <laughs> in jail. That's the new cuffed, cuffed right, cuff. Jersey Shore. Oh, yeah, I want to see a crossover between Jersey yeah. Shore and I, cuffed. I don't like Snooky at all. Why is she famous? Are you I don't know. Me? I can't. Hey, ma- America, send send Gian a message. No, I know. Him on face, I'll on give, Facebook and Twitter. Let him know why she's. It's a rhetorical three. question. No, we get it. She's, she's compact. She's compact. A disgusting human being, and on and let loose running around America or the Jersey Shore, wherever. Someone just needs to lay a glue trap out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a, let and have a her rug, foot stuck there. A rug sized glue trap. And just have her just. Stuck. She's just yeah. Glue. She's like she's the rat that won't die. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the rat that won't die. She's infected. She probably she loves French fries too. Yeah, probably. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure she's had I'm has sure she, kids. I'm sure she dunks. And them. she would eat her young. Yeah. Oh she yeah. Would, and you could probably her. easily catch her in some sort of trap. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just put like a margarita on a like a human sized rat trap type <laughs> thing. Shinoki, <you're> not <laughs> just get caught. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Watch, or put watch, like watch tanning the South spray Park or episode. something. Yeah. The Jersey Shore uh, South Park episode. It's a great episode. Anyway. So yeah, only if if, uh, if she's in in jail, would, I guess it, she's not DTF apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure in jail everyone's DTF. No, but like not for the other housemates because she's in jail. They're not in jail. Huh? Like <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, let's take a commercial break before we uh, head on out of here. Uh, DJ Jesse Janity, hit me. Kick it! After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag coworkers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzzTV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after-shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. 
Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? <laughs> uh, Vanessa, hold that up to the camera. Camera over there. Yes, for, for you listening, uh, Vanessa's taking advantage of the new... The new iPad we have here in the studio no. uh, for tablet. us. What, what, what kind of tablet is that, Jesse? Or like HP. Oh, HP tablet. Sorry, HP. HP. Yeah, HP. <laughs> Look, I didn't see the back of it. I just Whatever. saw this they flat give, thing. They didn't give it to us. We can say it's a wrong thing. Uh, for those, yeah, for those of us who don't bring our laptops in here, Ooh. can still check the web and, and take goofy pictures <laughs> of ourselves. No, no. So when I take a bathroom break, it looks like I'm still on air. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold that up if you want to go. <laughs> so Jesse will sit there with that over his face and still on you. It never leaves like the camera view. No, never. <laughs> uh, awesome. So uh, we're back. Uh, you guys are going to cover uh, the episode that's after this one tomorrow. Right? Poss- yeah. Yeah. So stick around tomorrow for the next Beavis and Butthead. Uh, these two lovely people will be doing it. But themselves. the. Uh, we got this, mad jokes. This episode y'all. had, I would have to say, so far of all the episodes I've seen. The best uh, outline. Oh, the, be- yes. the best yes. ending oh, totally. line definitely. of any episode. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. The, the way they ended it is just great. So they they, they find a bird <laughs> yeah. that's all covered in in uh, in oil, and they're gonna go and I guess try to oil up themselves. Yeah, they, they, they think thought, that's how it that's how it rolls. Well, before sex, they gotta oil themselves yeah. up so that the ladies would... can rub them down and clean exactly. them, right? Yeah. Oh, so go. so they go and get all covered in 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 the stuff, and then. The hippie girl comes back over, and she's like, "Oh, you guys, you put in so much effort. You, oh, that was so great. You guys are really making a difference." <laughs> and then Butthead, <laughs> you're making a difference in well, my no, pants. But, yeah, she lets go. They let go. The bird flies away. <laughs> yeah. She thinks she thinks that they're like setting it free majestically, <laughs> but in in actuality, the bird just <laughs> yeah. freaks out and flies away. <laughs> Look at them, their savior. Because he's been like molested by these two yeah, weird he's, teenagers. He's, he's fighting for his life. And to be he honest, it wasn't even that clean. It was still yeah, kind of still... dirty when it. Looked well, yeah, like they know what they're doing. <laughs> exactly. They're just like oh. they're just trying to rub rub, rub off there. on it. Uh, yeah, the best ending line. Yeah. Um, Great tag. You guys got anything to plug before we head on out here? Uh, no, I still got my weekly gig at the Hollywood Bowl. Nice, so good, good. Just come on, going? it's like a open door policy. Just nice. come and go whenever you want. BYOB too. Uh, no, it's uh, you gotta buy beer at the Hollywood Bowl. So, <laughs> okay. Oops. my bad. Ooh, sorry. sorry, can't bring you. Know. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, I have nothing to plug. Nothing to plug? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, uh, check out uh my uh, Funnier Die page. Some new videos coming soon. Funnierdie.com slash Gian Molina. Also, 11th Hour tonight, James and I will be hosting the 11th Hour show, which we do every week. Thursday every nights. Thursday at 11 o'clock at the Artworks Theater on Santa Monica and Seward it's in free. Hollywood. Come I'll be there. Improv show. Yeah, we'll I'll be good there. Stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff every week. Uh, you can see me, James Ross, at uh, this month's Tournament of the Nerd show at UCB on Ooh. December 17th. So good. Uh, it'll be uh, December 17th at midnight. Should be a heck of a show with some great, uh, great guest judges. And then you can just find me on Twitter. Awesome. You can read about my dream journal. At I'm Vanessa Lopez, right? Yep, you nailed it. And you can find me and at... And we'll see the music video that gets made. At mm-hmm. James is a nerd on uh, on the Twitter. Awesome. We have been Beavis and Butthead Podcast. After show, after buzz, we love you. Peace out, Jesse Janity. Get us out of here. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, buzz you later. Uh, 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 we're going to score. We're going to and score. I can't the do any voices. The views expressed are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principal.